Now come to the photosynthesis. What is photosynthesis? Photo means light. Synthesis means food. So what actually photosynthesis means? This is the process in which food is synthesized. Food is man. The photosynthesis process we man food. We are getting. So what is the definition? Definition. This is the process in which food is synthesized from raw material. It is CO2 and water in the presence of light, in the presence of, in the presence of sunlight. in chlorophyll molecule in chlorophyll molecule so ultimately photosynthesis gives us oxygen and food so what are the products co2 and food oxygen and food these are the products of photosynthesis the so photosynthesis now equation of photosynthesis now equation if we talk about the equation of photosynthesis photosynthesis equation there are six molecule of carbon dioxide then 12 molecule of water and the presence of sunlight and very chlorophyll molecule what is synthesized? The food is synthesized means glucose C6, H12O6, then 6 oxygen is released plus 6 water molecule is generated in the metabolic process and the photosynthesis. Now if we talk about the raw material, raw material these are CO2 and second one is water first we talk about the co2 co2 comes from environment the amount of co2 in environment it is about 0.03 percent we breathe we intake oxygen we intake oxygen and release co2 which is used in photosynthesis so we we intake who we intake human being intake oxygen and release CO2 which is used in photosynthesis okay now how does it enter it the CO2 enters through through pores and these pores are present on upper and lower surface of the surfaces of the leaves the number of stomata or pores are called is equal to stomata if we draw the structure of leaf it is the leaf it is upper surface and it is lower surface number of stomata will be less in less stomata will be on upper surface and lower surface number is abundant is more more stomata on the lower side because which helps we stops it will stop or reduce reduce the rate of what transpiration now if you draw the structure of stomata that stomata stomata of dicot leaves
yeah they are bean like bean shape structure yeah and these are subsidiary cells and this is what this is the real power on these are what it is nucleus and and these cells are called god cells god cells and the further cells are called it is accessory accessory cells and these god cells also possess what chlorophyll molecules which takes part in photosynthesis chlorophyll and this it is open stomata this is the structure of open stomata open stomata so through stomata the co2 enters enters from stomata now it is about the now come to the second most element it is water 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 comes from soil we all know and it is gravy capillary water example it is capillary water capillary water is avail available for plant the plant take its water from capillary water now draw the structure and the xylem xylem tissues helps in in conduction of of water and the conduct water from roots to leaves or upper part or upper part of the plant upper part of the plant so the conduction of water through xylem vessels now up come to the essential elements now essential elements what are the essential elements the essential elements which are very necessary first we talk about it is sunlight 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 may be sirf visible light it is visible light to which we can visualize visible light and maximum if we talk about the sunlight and maximum photosynthesis will be in red light in red light maximum photosynthesis will occur maximum photosynthesis now it is in which light minimum minimum photosynthesis will be in which light it will be in green light why because leaves reflect reflects the green light this is the reason why minimum photosynthesis will occur in green light okay now of we the second point it is second most essential element it is chlorophyll molecule before going for chlorophyll molecule we know about the plastid what are the plastids plastids are double membranous bound organelle these are double membranous organelle and if they have it is divided into two categories double membrane it is one membrane it is means it is inner membrane and it is outer membrane the double membrane bound structure which helps in many ways first it is divided into three categories one is if there is chlorophyll if there is chlorophyll then it will be what color 
it will be of green color and number two it is yeah it is chromo chromoplast now what are chromoplasts they gives various colors they may be of various color and third one is leucoplast means when it is no color means no color so the plastids are divided into two categories chlorophyll when it is green chromoplast means various colors may be present leucoplast no color will be and this leucoplast helps in storage and it helps in gives color to flower and fruit okay or green it gives color to the leaves now now draw the structure of chlorophyll no chloroplast chloroplast is a kind of a kind of plastic yeah so we have already discussed double man bounded structure so let me draw the diagram so it is of now it is double membrane as bound structure yeah one membrane is outer membrane and it is inner membrane and the come to the next it is thylakoid single coid is thylakoid then it is second then third and fourth the single it is called granum the single it is granum singular now if it's bind to the another granum it will be called grana it is what it is plural it will be grana so this whole unit completely will call it is grana plural so what it is outer membrane it is inner membrane and it is thylakoid out to which there are some chlorophyll molecules are present these green color are of chlorophyll molecules now and the red red are what these are photosynthetic pigment green and yeah these greens pigments are for photosystem first and red are for photosystem second the part which is out side yeah out part it is of green color it is photosystem first and the red it is photo for photosystem so it is for photosystem first and the red it is for photosystem photo system second in photosystem first only atp will be generated and in photosystem second atp and nadph2 both will generate it okay and as well there will be some it's double stranded circular dna its own dna dna then it is stroma in which enzymes are present of enzyme for what dark reaction dark reaction what is dark reaction dark reaction will produce glucose yeah and this dark reaction what will be produce the glucose glucose will produce and this glucose will further dip, will be stored as starch okay and there will be some ribosomes what well, these are ribosomes ribosomes it is of what type it is 70s type 70s type of ribosomes will be present and it is matrix 
yeah it is matrix it is matrix or strom it is called it is all about the chloroplast molecule now we will discuss about the reactions the photosynthesis photosynthesis will be divided into two reactions one is light reaction and another will be what dark reaction so what happens in light reaction the energy is generated what energy energy generated for what it is generated for production of food the so energy in the form of what it is atp and another one is nadph2 so it is reducing and it is currency of it is currency for cell it is currency of exchange in cell it is reducing power now this energy which is used in dark reaction in dark reaction what happens the co2 converts into glucose and this glucose will be stored in the form of starch okay and if talk about the transportation that starch will be transported in which form sucrose transportation ki baat kare to transportation ke form mein hoga in sucrose form transportation transportation okay now we will first we will know about the a light reaction so first light reaction light reaction are divided into two categories it is photosystem first and it is photosystem second yes very good so photosystem first if alone work when it work alone it is called cyclic and when both works it will be when alone it is cyclic and work with photosystem first and second then it will be z scheme okay so photosystem it do not work alone do do not work alone it always with photosystem first first we discuss about their differences now photosystem first and photosystem second so in photosystem first only atp will be generated in photosystem atp plus nadph2 both will be generated okay so it it is cyclic when it is alone or it do not work alone in photosystem first plus photosystem second that will be called z scheme theek hai the photosystem first do not release do not release what oxygen here oxygen is released why oxygen is not released because hydrolysis water hydrolysis does not take place here doesn't take place here but if it talk about the photosystem second oxygen is released and uh, why because there is water hydrolysis takes place here yeah. now come to the so in the photosystem first and the second atp is generated atp and nadph2 both are generated and this have now come to the dark reaction it is b dark reaction in dark reaction what happens this atp and nadh2 which is generated the atp and nadph2 which is generated in light reaction
they take plug that just a part in CO2 fixation and this CA2 is converted into glucose stored in fruits it is stored in fruits and to which we take to which we take as nutrient yeah now this co2 fixation may be further divided into two categories it is c3 cycle it is c4 cycle and cam pathway it is more less efficient it is more efficient and it is for calcification means desert it is desert plants mostly so we have discussed about all about it is brief knowledge about photosynthesis now photosynthesis is and very short notes very short notes okay thank you